What is going on guys? So in today's video, this makes it about, uh, it's going to be another AliExpress haul video. This makes it part five. Again, I lost count. But you guys are wondering, why am I doing a AliExpress video with the Sienna in a Volvo? Well, this is my dad's Volvo. And the best feature that I, I about this car, in my opinion, one of the best features, not the best, is the fact that I could go ahead and control the passenger seat with the driver's seat. And this is a game changer when it comes to having driving Mama in the back, the girls in the back, and being able to create more space for her, especially when she's sitting in the back. Uh, I found an AliExpress product. Well, first of all, uh, thoughts all over, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this particular feature. Um, I could go ahead and recline the seat back and even move the seat back or forward by using only the driver's side. Now, how, why, how is this important? Well, if mama's in the back and no one's in the front, I could go ahead and just create more leg room for her. Right. Now in today's video, I found a similar product that hopefully mimics the same function that we have in XC60 in the Sienna. Hopefully creating more passage or entryway when we have the sliding doors going on. Um, the more it goes forward, the more space you have for, the, for mama to come in or anyone to come in if, this, uh, if they're reclining the rear facing seats are all the way up front. All right, so we're gonna go handheld again. Closer look at the unboxing or the cable. Here it is, piggybacking off of everything. The original adapter, uh, original OEM plug will go into here, which piggybacks off of everything. And then you plug in this aftermarket harness to replace or complete the connection. And here's a remote for you to go ahead and recline and push the seat forward and backwards. You see this in like uh, Kias as well, or Palisades or, or you know Hyundai. All right, so hopefully this is a good picture. Again, we're going from the front side in. Now, based on the instructions that the seller sent or to the two pictures, we are going to be replacing this right here and this smaller adapter right here. All right, if you guys could see, hopefully. All right, guys, so actually I did even better. I took this front portion out, this trim. It was like this, I just kind of pushed it down and it came right back out. So here's a better view at the interior. All right, here you go. We are working with this right here, and then we are working with this one right here, this adapter. And finally, I think there's one last one that you're supposed to plug and play actually, so my bad, this one. We're gonna find it. All right guys, so I just wanna give you guys a heads up before um, completing the whole install. Here we have the, um, the remote control. We are going to test it like that. And okay, so the front and back works, right? But the recline function doesn't work. But when you press it, you hear it's trying to go ahead and relay the information from the module, the, the box to the reclining functions. Now, taking a look at this one, we have, I, I couldn't not for the life of me find a, um, a plug that fit these type of pins, right? In the front, like so. Like nothing of this, of these sorts. So I took a look in the back and lo and behold, this is the connection in the back. We're going from the, the back side of the uh, passenger seat all the way down here. And right there, this portion right here, this is the one you have to plug and play right there. All right, so you see that yellow uh, plastic tubing? And right over there is where you have to plug and play. So you have to drag um, the cable right here, push it through, and it should work. All right, I'll report back as soon as possible. Overcast again, it's gonna rain. Let's get this done. All right guys, so that definitely took longer than expected, but let's take a look. Let's do a test fitment. So we could go ahead and go back and forward. And as you can tell, very minimal lag, non, non-existent at all. The moment I press it, it goes forward. But the moment of truth, we are going to test the recline function. All right, let's go forward. And there you go. Let's go backwards. And there you go. So this, this, this works, this is nice. So what we have in the Volvo, we are able to replicate in the Sienna. So I'm pretty happy about that. I think um, 
This is another product that I will I would recommend so far initially, initial testing. I'm not gonna go ahead and push it, stick it on here. Most likely, you know, I'm not gonna use it often. Maybe I might, because then it might give access for the passenger to go ahead and um, whoever's in the rear to go ahead and, and push this a little bit forward to get more space. But as I was mentioning before, I want more space over there, right? So if I go ahead and push this back like that, you know, if a, if, if, a, if a passenger wants to sit all the way towards the back, you know, this creates less room for someone to slide, uh, come in and out via the sliding doors with the rear facing child seat installed. But to fix this problem, we are going to just use this remote control and create more room. When no one's sitting in the front passenger side, create more room, that way with this seat moves pushed all the way forward with the super long slide you could go ahead and still fit someone in here squeeze someone in here without affecting or touching the super slide function so here it is all pushed forward and um, reclined forward so the thing is i don't know how i'm assuming the battery is uh, some sort of button battery in the back uh, you have to remove the 3m tape in order to access it so the downside is there may be some, I don't know how long it's going to last in terms of battery life, but in terms of lag, response rate, response time, it's almost instantaneous. So I'm very happy with this. I'm very, this is nice. So that is it. If you guys are interested in the product, for sure, I'll leave again, as always, I'll leave everything in the description down below. But that is it for a uh, part six, part, part six of the AliExpress haul. Uh, on that note, checking out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.